I've called for an evac. Should secure the area before the dropship arrives. I'm going after him. There's another one. Let's do it. I'll find the bastard. Oh, there. What there it is. I'm going. Keep it up. Rock in hell. Warning, I've picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the Captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. The last lifeboat is in the mountains near a rock slide.
Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Got him! Nice! Get some! Yeah, hombre!
New traffic on the Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain Keyes. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers upspin. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. Issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit him, Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. 